This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Shining Force. The War of Great Intention, or something like that. In the last episode, we went through the... We finished the quarry, saved the men from the city of Bustoke, and uh, talked to some strange characters, recruited the the War Wolf Zylo. Yeah, I'm not going to get off of saying that. And, uh, we, and uh, we headed towards over the mountains to get to the next area that has a port. Unfortunately, it looks like Runefast is stopping us at every tor corner. Oh, and they also got a new weapon, the laser eye, but we've yet to see it, so it might be a while till we uh, deal with it. So let's uh, finish these guys off and continue on today. All right, let's see if we can... Let's see how much damage that will actually does. He has about the same strength as a... Ooh, very nice. Does a decent amount of damage to the uh, to the skeleton, so... Uh, all right. Whoop. Aw, oh, nuts. Well, I, I thought they would get their turn in time. Now there goes Amon. I'm probably going to take her. Him? I keep forgetting if Amon's female or male. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Ah, you know. uh, well. One less person. I but yeah, like I said, I can't figure out, can't figure out the, the damage, or not damage, uh, ooh, level, attack level, nice, speed, HP, oh, nice, we got, get some nice boost there. Alright, let's just have you fire him. Skeleton, you fired. Um, you know, I can't even do, I shouldn't even do jokes like that anymore, or at least not for a while anyway. You know why. Anyway, let's keep going. Alright, oh, you know what? <laughs> Now you go low. I was gonna heal Amon. Now she's dead. Or he's dead. Well, Amon sounds like a male name, so I don't know. Ooh, take the experience for that. Since we're at that level, need to gain some levels anyway. And deadly attack a guy at two, two HP. Good. Good going. All right. Should be should be a super long fight. It's really all about just getting to the getting up to the location because everyone's like back to back. Like I said, it's a decent spot for uh it's not a bad place for level grinding although I, like i said i think the next area is probably a little bit better nice okay should gain a little yeah all right defense defense well i i guess if you, if you get anything from a level defense is probably one of the better ones to get i guess but uh oh well yeah at least it's not well i was about to say it's not as bad as like uh Fire Emblem, but I don't know. Fire Emblem has some pretty pretty bad levels. Level up sometimes. Because there's so many stats. Like, in this game, there's like... There's like, what? Attack, speed, defense. And then there's HP and MP. So that's five... Five stats you kind of have to... Kind of be aware of. For the most part, right? Um, oh, that's right. I forgot they have uh, items. Um, but, uh... So, you know... A chance of not getting any of the stats to go up is is pretty low because just because of the uh, how many stats there are to actually raise. While well, Fire Emblem there's like oh I'm trying to remember how many different stats there are. There are quite a few. There's like HP, MP, strength, intelligence, agility, like toughness, and I don't know, there's like a bunch of them. It's it's crazy. And uh, and if you get no level from if you get no bump from any of the levels from that it's just like it's pretty much just like that's it, you know, it's like, might as well redo the fight or something like that, you know? Because that was just, especially if it's a character you like, too. I mean, true, there's a chance later on that they might get more, more, uh, stats because they got dead level, but it's not guaranteed, you know? Yeah, that's why I'm not really a big fan of random, random stack growth. It'd just be easier if they had, I mean, well, I guess I, I haven't data mined this game, so I don't know if it's ran, if if what this game is random. I think it is. I really think it is, though. Um, but that's why I don't like a random um, random stat growth, because then there's no way to, like, really guarantee... I guess there's a skeleton wheel to move. I don't want to move too far. Let's see. Here's a, oh, well, they probably attacked me, too. So I probably, probably just want to go far enough, I guess. But, uh, but that way, I mean, because if, if all the stats are static, you can at least... Find the characters you like, and then see how their stat gro tree grows. And then you're like, okay, I want them. So I want to use this guy because he gets a lot of strength or whatever. But I don't know. Maybe they made it randomized so that way you could just pick whatever your favorite character is and just go with it or something. And really, in this game, there's really no reason to pick one character over the other. 
Except for some minor de difference, uh, minor stat growth differences, you know. But, uh, yeah. Because you know how, like, May and Kevin level up differently, but I, will, I don't know if it's drastic enough. Uh, attack level 2, defense. Ooh, defense level 3. Nice. Luke might actually have the same defense now as, uh, as, um, May now. I think she, uh, she might be close. May you're falling behind on your defense. Uh, we could actually check now, can't we? 19. He was, I think Luke was pretty close. Oh, nope. May still has the better defense. I think that's probably why, I think I've said it before, I think that's why I keep her for so long in the game, because of her, her defense goes up pretty, pretty high. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, I, I keep May. I think I eventually dropped Kent. Or is this Kent? I always keep calling him Kevin or Kent for some reason. Like, I keep swapping it, you know? Um, but yeah, I think I keep May. I drop, I drop, um, Kent. Or Kev. Kevin! Uh, and then I don't think I really, if I remember correctly, I don't think I even use Arthur that much. Because I think it takes forever for him to get his MP up to even get a, a spell, if he even gets a spell. He must get a spell, because he, he gets MP. I just don't. Like I said, I don't oh, I don't hardly ever use them. I sadly kind of end up using, like, after a while after playing the game a bunch. Oh, God, Balboa, you got... I think, wasn't your last level dead, too? Man, maybe we should look at Amon and see how her, her stack growth goes, you know? Let's see if she's worth, like, swapping in for her. I don't know, Amon sounds like a he, though. Maybe I should have started saying he from now on. It's just... The portrait kind of throws throws me off a little bit because I don't know. What, actually, you know what? I don't know why I make it such a big deal out of it. It's not that big of a deal. It's just you know, yeah, you, you, you know when you want to just make sure you're covered on your bases, you know, and just uh, make sure everything's good to go. You don't want to like misinterpret anything or say the wrong thing. Just just trying to be polite and all that. You know? Ugh, not enough movement right for the heal. What is up with all the Pegasus, you know? Why, why are they, like... Or pe yeah, they are Pegasus now, aren't they? Why are they moving all weird? Ooh. Well, you did get that s uh, strength upgrade later. Yeah. Alright, we'll uh, heal aim on and we'll have to go back. Uh, ah, seems, like, seems like a waste of level 5, but I'd rather heal them than not, you know? I mean, other than the death of uh, Amon, it's gone over pretty fine. Because the AI really isn't that smart in this in this game. Not till later on, then it gets a little bit more dangerous. They really they really improved the AI in uh, the sequel, though, for sure. Probably one of my favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite game ever, but it's it's a pretty solid game. I mean, I think it's if I remember the, it's the second game, I think it does suffer from a lot that the first game does in a lot of respects. But man, my my dwarves are just you don't toss a dwarf, you know. That's a well, luckily most people in the party have a decent level, so it's not too bad. Uh, just finish them off too. Can just keep grinding her experience. Yeah, I might as well give a kill to Diane. She needs she needs to get bumped up to level nine. Sorry, Hans, we have. A Hans, you want to be back on the team? Uh, might give that kill to kill the battle. We'll send Diane and kill him. Gonna yeah, give the kill to Balboy. All right, there you go, dude. There you go, Birdman. Take him out. Don't miss or whatever. Hmm. All right. Man, I was really good at this map because his ability. Him and Diane. Uh, apparently, Diane also has the uh, um, ability to uh, move through the forest pretty well. Yeah, he's. I won't say he's essential, but why are you all moving like that? I don't remember the game having a like a uh, surprise like character like monsters like oh you move so far in the map and then you you know uh, and then they some pop up you know that type of thing. Don't remember that at all. So I don't know why. Maybe they were originally designed to be like that, and but they never implemented it in this game. I don't know. I feel like I feel like they maybe they had quite a few ideas that never that never quite got off the ground or something like that. 
Yeah, like, why are you moving all the way over here? Do you just, do you just want to go to your home? You want to go to your home ball? Ugh. I think I've missed more times than this than I did when I played XCOM. Well, not as quiet, but still. There have been quite a few times, especially when fighting zombies. Like the, I guess I just overestimated the miss rate in this game. Because you know? I don't remember missing that much when I when I played this game a long time ago. I guess nostalgia is a heck of a drug, then, I guess. If that's the case. <sighs> See, even my main character's missing. That's got to be an agility stat, like, um, thing. That must affect, like, uh, speed, or, uh, like, the ability to dodge and stuff like that. Because I can't think of anything else why. <laughs> Yay, yeah, hey, two attacks at two. Good. Good job, Balboy. You need some attack power, dude. Otherwise, we're going to swap you out for another healer, or another uh, flyer later on. You know what I'm talking about. Actually, although the other guy I'm talking about probably isn't even that much better. But I use him anyway, just because. Man, I'm spreading my guys too thin. You know what they say, you never split the party. Healers in the back, keep those front front line fighters hale and hearty. You know. Okay, go go for it, dude. I mean, you could probably kill him. It's quite possible. He is built like Gong. You know. Got everyone all the way back here. You know. Well, there's no one to blame but me. I really don't want to keep giving the, my warriors the uh, levels. My healers need the levels. That's what they need. They need to move Luke down back down there, too. Well, I, I think my, I mean, my leader needs to, some experience, uh, needs to get to level 9 anyway, so I might as well let him kill a, finish some dude off. Yeah, maybe we're gonna hers. Gong's already at a decent level, so really it's my... Ah, she doesn't have a movement, too. Nice. Alright, can we get you, can we get you to do a deadly attack, maybe? No? You missed! Ah, god. Come on, game! What do you want from me? Actually, does I will have a... Did I give him her? I don't think I did. Nope. Way to go. You did it. You won the day. Now at least he's gone. Nice. Defense. Yep, good, good. He kind of needs that. Without a weapon, he's going to need something to, to, uh, to uh, bypass that. Or not bypass that. I probably should have killed that one for Max had killed that other dude, but... I forgot, did Balmor get hit a few times? I don't think he did. You know, I think for Max being the main character, you think he'd get hit a little bit less. Or get less damage done to him. Oh well, freeze him up, baby. Max should be able to kill him. Ooh, level 10. Attack. Attack's weird on a... Now, defense and speed's good. And magic points. Ooh, Muddle. Uh... Muddle's another one of those spell... Uh, uh, well, she's dead. Bye, Henri. Holy... Well, she survived. I didn't... Well, I, I'm so used to AI just attacking uh, a single target all the time. Like, they focus on one target, and then that's it. That's usually how it works. Um... But, but then again, it had not attacked Balboroy, so I guess it makes sense to go after the wizard. It's just, usually I've noticed a lot of times AI will just, like, t attack the closest target. You know, and then if they attack, it, even if the target moves at least a d somewhat decent distance away, they'll still attack the same target as long as it's within its field. That's the problem with having a kind of a weak AI, is trying to figure out, like, how its patterns are actually going to work. Like, if it's an intelligent AI... There's a pretty good chance I could figure out like how it's gonna work because it's like, well, if it's intelligent, it's gonna go after the characters with the, you know, least amount of HP, you know, that type of thing. 
Um, oh, I was just going to talk about Muddle before Henri got hit. Henri, uh, Muddle is basically the Wait, is it confused or is it blindness in this game? I think it's confused. Or, or sorry, not confused. It's like, it, I think it just makes you waste your turn, if I remember correctly. Like, it's just a... Because I don't think this game has a confused, if I remember correctly. I think, yeah, I think Muddle just, like, dazes you. It just basically... Ma <sighs> Golly. Just makes you just, uh... Um, just kind of... Just, like, kind of turn around. Uh-oh. This ain't good. This is not good at all, actually. We, uh... Um... Charlie, we have trouble. That's what I get for... Just trying to gain levels for characters and all that other stuff. I, I might lose Max here. If I'm not careful. I'll have to do the fight all over again. See, this is what this is what happens when you get a bit cocky. You know, you shouldn't. Uh, the hubris, the hubris will get you, man. It'll get you. Luckily, our healer has a decent amount of speed to go. Yeah, save save my leader from being incompetent. Okay, let's try this again and maybe you can hit him. Oh, my... <sighs> Criminy! Just... Just finish him off! Just hit him! Why... Huh. Like I said... Oh, what? Here. Okay, at least he did it the second time, but still... God, this game's testing my patience. I'm, I, don't, I don't have the patience of a saint. It just wants to go, You want to miss and do this multiple times? Well, there you go. And I might just finish him off with like Chris or someone like that just to Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Just take it. Take it like a man. There you go. Did more damage than Balboy 2, that's sad. Dude, your healer you <laughs> it's like dude your healer almost killed that guy. Or the healer killed that guy. Uh, how many years have been training, Balboy? Many years of my life. Isn't that kind of pathetic? Yeah. Or sorry, I, I, I had him do a bird like, yeah, it's, it's pathetic. <laughs> anyway, yeah, go over and get, get a Xylo healing here in a moment. <sighs> and of course, every has a crappy, is he going to, is that guy just going to stay there now? Huh, interesting. So is he one of those AI that has like a spot, if you move in, a spot he'll attack you, but if you... Game? Game? I'm going to... i got to put the smackdown on you. I'm not afraid to do some smackdownage. You know what I mean. I'm going to give Diane that kill. I'm just going to leave her there for the... Wow, she got her turn fast enough. I'm just going to leave her there. You, know, you, you can't... Uh... You will hit! You will... What? Seriously, game? What in... What in the... All that is holy... Okay, what's his agility? 12? What's her agility? 12? I... She should be hitting him all the time! Okay, not 100% of the time, but a pretty decent amount of the time. You're, you're damned, you should be hitting. It's like with the ghouls all, or zombies all over again. Just no explanation other than uh, you miss. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's a... Because the, the terrain says it have a, has a land effect. I didn't think that was a that was a uh, accuracy effect. I thought that was more of a movement effect, you know. I'll admit, there's a lot of like random things in the game. I'm kind of not okay now. It moves great. I gotta take out Diane now, even though she tried to hit him like five times. Strategy doesn't work if the percentages don't work for you, dude. Uh, I just have to have Zylo go back over there and finish him off. Probably the probably the most effective thing to do here. Um, yeah, this is, this is kind of pathetic that we can't just, can't hit him. Let me guess, you're going to miss two? Oh, good! The bird hit. And you're going again? Man, I really wish I could figure out, like, how agility and speed and turns work. Because he just went, like, not too long ago. You know? Oh, right, I was going to just have Silo help. I have to just finish him off, maybe. I always want to give Diane the experience, you know, just like, hey, here you go, here's the experience. It was going to be pretty cool. Let me guess, miss. Oh, good! You hit. Now either Balboy or her is going to get the kill. Balboy might get killed before the meantime. Eh, 
right, we're almost at, at the boss. I don't think there's a boss that, that this level finishes when you finish off. I think you just have to finish off one or the other. Or all of them, I mean. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty... I'm trying to see if there's anything really over there. To, like, any reason for the Pegasus Knight to actually go over there, but... Nope. And I don't, I don't think my notes say anything about, like, a secret treasure or anything like that that's supposed to be over there. I think it's just an empty spot. I mean, I, I might double-check my notes just to make sure. Ooh, finally, gained a whole... Two HP. You have, like, two dead levels and two HP. You're make, you're seriously making me regret putting you on the team, Valboroy. And no, I'm not resetting the, the game for to repair, like stat growth, you know. I'll just take it as it is, and then I'll choose the characters based on what their grows eventually end up as. Although, I'm just going to do the almost optimal method to level up characters, which is uh, before promoting them, make sure they get to level... And it looks like Zyla only has this really good movements and forces. And but anyway, promoting at level 20 instead of level 10, which is usually what most people do. But it'll be a while until we get to that. Although we could do it soon because actually technically I could show you Teu and Henri's level tens if if I really wanted to, uh, or their promotions. But like I said, you're not really getting the most optimal stat growth if you do that. Not that not that I'm trying to go for a uh, um, what's the word? It's not like I'm trying to go for a mid max build or anything like that. All right, Diane, can you at least hit the hit the lizard dude? Please. Thank you. Yeah, I've pulled up my I pulled up my notes, but uh, I might just wait till it's her turn again since she's the lowest level. Oh right, he can heal. That's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'll just you heal while I look at my look at my notes really quick just to make sure. The only problem with doing that is that it goes by a real little slow when you do that. Turn. Oh, yeah, I'll probably have him kill the, uh, kill the, um, uh, uh, priest dude so I can get the experience from that. Probably weaken him a bit more before I get a, um, uh, move Balboroy in, I think. Might as well. Right. Nice. Could just wait for the. Actually, I wonder if it. I think it did show the. The, uh, um, hold on. Okay, he's got quite a bit of HP. I may just have to go in and finish him off then if he's going to do that. Okay, it's not until the next fight that there's a secret that I have to worry about. Um, okay, I'll let Diane go again, smack him, and then have everyone run up and... Or, you know, I can help with May. That, that would work. She's got range, too. Thank, uh, thank goodness for the power spear. Ooh. Could just, could just like, get her to level tw uh, level 10 by just... Or, no, is she already level 10? Nope, she's not. But, yeah, just let the guy heal it and just keep... Um... Get the experience off of that. That is another way because the AI is a, is to just a nice. Okay, attack level one, defense one. All right, I'll take it. Because I think I think technically archers are supposed to be good with with speed, or at least that's why that's the way they should be. All right, I'll have, whenever it gets the max turn, I'll have him smack him. There we go. But yeah, it's not till battle eleven until there's another secret. So. I'll have to make sure that Max is a. Uh, um, uh, really? Magic 1? No attack, no defense. You know, you're the main character of the game. Magic is not important to you. I mean, you get some good spells later on, but I'd rather you be an attack dude than, uh, than a spell dude. Head to the bridge quickly. We need to get across. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember there being uh, any. Yeah, nothing here that I'm aware of. I'll just double check it just to make sure. Yeah, because my notes don't say anything about about it, so. Alright. Well first, I I think we can go back to town and, and uh level or heal up our dudes. I don't think they respawn. 
Okay, let's get back there. Da, 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 da. Hey, yo, happy music. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, that's what we want to do. Restore, restore aim on. Yep. Actually, I might do. I might keep aim on for the next fight because flyers will be actually pretty helpful there, and people who can move pretty quickly. So, um, let's see. Which one was the HQ map again? Was it? Okay, this one. All right. See, yeah, I think the next map. Yeah, movers are ones who can move really far are really helpful here. So the wizards and mages and healers are not going to be that helpful here. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, Teo, I forgot to put Teo in that. So I might, I might switch Ken and Arthur back in and swap out maybe like Gord and uh, um, Luke for this one just because of their range and everything like that. That actually be a good idea. I usually don't, uh, I usually don't, like, really think about stuff like this regularly, but, eh. I mean, even though Gort and, uh, and Gort and Luke are much better characters o overall, like, in terms of just stats and everything, but, but they, they tend to have, um, they tend to have a low movement range, so, and the, and with having a pretty decent weapon, power spear with range is definitely very helpful in any fight, really, but I'll try changing up more regularly now that I've got more people in my group, but, uh, well, I try to be more efficient, so, all right, let's go on to the next, uh, next area, uh, next battle, of course it's gonna be the next battle, what do you expect, gotta go into the bridge and, oh no, we're, we're fighting things on a bridge, yeah. traitor, you betrayed Lord Kane. I owe no allegiance to you or him, foul fiend that he is. You're only a mercenary. You do what we pay you to do. Here, I return your gold. I shall no longer follow your orders, Toad. If you are not with us, then you are against us. What is he? What are you doing, dude? I will have the pleasure of killing you myself. Oh, you should have seen that coming. The vile fiend. Oh! Oh, he's dead. Huh, he had a, he had a somewhat different sprite in a portrait. Uh, I guess it just goes to show that's like Game of Thrones over here, right? Any character with a portrait could die. Haha! You know? <laughs> Those thus who fall, all who dare to oppose the will of Dark Soul! Alright, calm down. Whoa, whoa! What the? What is this noise? The laser eye? He's, what, warm-up initiated? 10-9? He's a fire in his laser? Yep, we actually have a reasonable reason to say that meme. Yeah, I don't really like meme humor either, but sometimes you just have to do it. Alright! This is the bat bridge battle. Let's take a look and see what options we have. Let's see, we got, uh, let's see. Okay, so basically this fight, probably one of the few, like, not tactical strategic fights in the whole game, I, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh wait, no, I think there's a couple near the end of the game as well. The laser eye has a sequence. Uh, so every time its turn goes around, he counts down two spots. So he went 10, nine, and then actually, or is it two spots every time, or is it the final one? Oh, anyway. Uh, so you have, I guess, five turns to get, um, cause, uh, to get basically out of, his range, I think, goes from, I think, three spots, I think, if I remember correctly, but anyway, you have to get, you have to basically not be, or maybe it's these two spots, but anyway, you have to basically be out of his range for two spots, otherwise, you either take a ton of damage, or you don't die instantly, but at our levels and our HP stats, you pretty much will lose that character if they're in the path of the beam. Unless you're like, I think Kevin might have enough HP, or Ken, okay, his name's Ken, I don't know why I can call him Kevin. Ken might have enough HP for that, but anyway, we got, so we got the laser eye, which, let me look at stats. Yeah, this is what they dug up for the quarry, so I don't know how they dug up for the quarry, get to the mountains, stacked down to the bridge, and then waited for us. Couldn't you just dug it up and shot it at us at the quarry, or something like that? No, you just want to do it here. But anyway, uh, attack 14, defense 19, and agility 27. So his turn goes pretty quickly. So, uh, but anyway, we got a new, got a new. I think this knight is new for this battle. The silver knight, an upgrade to the um, uh, the rune fast regular knights. I forgot what they're called now. Um, but anyway, let's see. Got some more pegasi, dark priest, lizardmen, dark. Dark sniper, so they can take you out while you're trying to hide from the laser. Well, at least that's the point of them is to s sneak attack you there. Then the Pegasi are supposed to attack you when you try to hide here. So yeah, the battle is designed to be dangerous, but 
you know, we'll find out here in a second that's not that bad, especially if you have Amon and Balboroy or, or some fast characters and whatever, so. Oh, well, I tend to, uh, depending on how fast I can get my characters over there, sometimes I'll just, uh, um, I'll wait a turn, I'll wait till the laser eye goes, and then I'll, uh, um, God, I may take up all the experience, why don't you? Level 10, defense 1, well, yeah, that's where, that's where stat growth kind of goes to, so, but, all right. Well, it looks like the Shining Forest has a bit of danger up this sleeve. If they don't, if they don't traverse the bridge carefully, they'll be finding themselves blasted to kingdom come or falling off to save themselves the, the dire consequences of a laser to the face. Will we survive? Will we, uh, will we chase Dark Soul and Runefast in the next town? Find out next time in the next episode of Shining Forest, The War of Great Intention, or something like that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.